Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 1059. This is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a 1986 movie that is directed by John Hughes. So this is from Paramount Pictures, and I saw this movie on July 17th, 2024 at CMS Liberty Rosary 15 in Cinder Bistro in Liberty Township, Ohio. So, Ferris Bueller, portrayed by Matthew Broderick in the film, has an uncanny skill at, at telling prices and getting away with it. And his sister is annoyed at that. Attending to make one last dugout before graduation, Ferris calls in sick for the ninth time. He also borrows, <laughs> borrows a Fiori from his friend's dad and embarks on a one-day journey through the streets of Chicago. Unfortunately, Ferris is going to have to make sure that no one sees him, not his parents, his sister, or even the principal. High school principal Rooney, portrayed by Jeffrey Jones in the film, is determined to catch him in the act. Because he is very suspicious of him, he does not trust Ferris at all, and when he knows that Ferris Bureau is off for the ninth time, he decides that enough is enough. He wants to catch him in the act and not let him graduate this year. Uh-oh. So Ferris Brewer really took taking a day off from school to a whole different level. And this is a classic. So he talks his friend Cameron and his girlfriend Sloan into heading to Chicago for the day, even though Cameron has a bad feeling about it. Especially when Ferris asks Cameron to borrow his dad's Ferrari. Cameron is like, no, my dad is going to kill me. Even despite this, Ferris still borrows it anyway, and he brings Cameron and Sloan along. While they are taken in what the city has so awful, the Dean of Students, Ed Rooney, is convinced that Ferris is playing hooky for the day and it wouldn't be the first time, and is helping to catch him out. Ferris has anticipated that, so he has a plan of his own. But can he do this without being caught? So, besides Matthew Broderick as Ferris Brewer, Alan Rook portrays Cameron Fry, who is Ferris' best friend. Mia Sarah portrays Sloan Peterson, who is Ferris' girlfriend. Jennifer Gray as Janine Brewer, who is Ferris' sister. Janine is so furious that Ferris is to stay home from school because, her family, because his family thinks that he is sick. But Jeannie, do, but Jeannie knows better. He know, she knows that Ferris is not sick. Jeffrey Jones portrays Ed Rooney, the Dean of Students. Sidney Pickett portrays Katie Brewer, who is Ferris' mother. Ryman Ward portrays Tom Brewer, who is Ferris' father. Eddie McCrook, MCCLURG, portrays Grace, who is Rooney's secretary. And there, are, and there are many other actors and actresses in this movie. Even Charlie Sheen portrays a role in this movie. So, for people wanting to take a day off from school, Ferris Brewer has done the ultimate, the ultimate day off. He wants to enjoy life as it is, and he realizes that school won't be good. Well, from some days at least. He's not trying to dish school off the level, he just wanted to have a day off, and he wants to see what Chicago has to offer, especially since he is about to graduate. But can he still do this and not get caught? Because if he gets caught, Rooney's going to make sure that he gets, be gets left behind our graduation, which means that Ferris will have to retake the 12th grade. Uh-oh. Oh, this was a classic high school movie. I definitely enjoyed it. I don't know why I never saw this movie before. I heard about it countless times. 
And I thought it was a pretty good movie. I definitely recommend it. Now, for those of you who want to play Hulti, I wouldn't really advise on it. I mean, once in a while, it is good to have a day off. But don't pretend to be sick and play Hulti to get out of school. I mean, I know that some people will, will dream of doing that, but please don't actually do that in real life. Because, because school is important. But, Fearless does have a good point. If you don't stop to look around on what the world has to offer, you may miss it. That is a good point. But still, I thought it was a pretty good movie. So that's my movie review of Fearless Brewers Day Off. Please stay tuned for this movie review. Alright, goodbye.